Up your voice and begin to worship now. Lift up your voices and begin to worship. Worship him now. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. He's worthy of the praise. Worship him. He's worthy of all the glory. Worship him. He's worthy of all the adorations. Worship him. Worship him tonight. Worship him this evening. Him alone is God Almighty, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The most high God. There's not a God besides him. Worship him this, this night. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. His word over the glory. His word over the worship. Give him praise in the house. Bring the tabaka so the head of the Rekete diamando empara baba zataba reto pata shata monge diamasuku rito pato shepeke de zonte diamando de bosa antara la masanda ba rekete diamaba rato baba shato mo ranga na basoto empara baba kande pende bo shato na baba suto kote bo sinta intele de zende diamaba you are worthy Lord we bo shata rande diamasa we give you the praise we give you the glory we give you the worship our Lord and our God. There is no other God besides you. You alone are Jehovah, the Most High, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. In Jesus' name we worship. In Jesus' name we worship.
Sutra has to get up for Jesus. Zeto reto vahasha tarama seketeriando. Are you there? Are you sure? You are too quiet this evening. Brisbane, you are too quiet. I think you didn't miss me at all. I'm going back. I'm going back to the mountain. Oh, Papa. No, 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 no. People who missed me, this is not how they behave. Imagine, uh, imagine I haven't even been to Townsville. Oh. Yeah, I'm serious. Is that correct? Yes, Papa. I haven't even been to my house. They are just watching me like, ah, uh, ah, uh, Papa, what's that now? And this is how you welcome me in Brisbane. Ah! That's better. That's better. Ah! That's better now. Now I think I can relax. Because I wasn't going to relax. <laughs> I was going to change my gears. And they give you milk. Feed you, you know, whatever you call it. Milk. No, 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 no. Thank you, Papa. Not solid food. But now I think you are ready for something solid. Oh, yes, Papa. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, Papa. Okay, take your seats. Now, how many of you know that there is a conference coming up in October? How many? Where is it? In Melbourne. How many of you have already registered for that conference? You have already registered for the conference in Melbourne. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Only five. Six. Who is number seven? You are number seven. Who is number eight? Are you coming with me to Melbourne? Are you sure? Yes, Papa. Dad told me, he said, son, I want your sons and your daughters to come with you to Melbourne. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Now, when a prophet says that, it means there's something is in the realm of the spirit. I receive. There's something that is preparing for you and for me. I receive. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Yeah. So I want you to make it a point to come to Melbourne buy your tickets now get your airfares now if you need to start walking start walking now so that by the time it hits the conference you're already in melbourne is that making sense yes is that a good idea oh yes you have to start walking when now even if a day you walk only five kilometers you're going to get there in time for the conference <laughs> is that making sense yes papa yeah, dad is coming. So make sure that you are there in October. The dates are what? Six, seven, and eight of October. It's a rare privilege to be visited by Major One twice in the same year. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Twice in the same year. It's a rare privilege. So take advantage of this opportunity. Am I talking to somewhere right here? I said take advantage of what? This opportunity. It's a rare privilege. Okay. So that's uh, the flyer there. There are tickets. You can choose whatever you want. Silver, gold, or VIP. Choose whatever you want. But make sure that you are there. If you can't choose any of them, talk to me. If you are too broke that you can't afford an $80 ticket, then you have to talk to me. I need to deliver you physically. Oh, yes. <laughs> not my son, not my daughter. No, no, no. That's an error. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Okay, so today we've got uh, one testimony. Is that true? Yes. Okay. I think only one person just for their testimonies. But before we get to the testimonies, allow me to welcome those watching us live. 
from New Zealand, from uh, Fiji, from PNG, from Vanuatu, from China, from Russia, from South Africa, from Malawi, from Zimbabwe, uh, from Vanuatu, from Sydney, Melbourne, um, from Adelaide, from Townsville. Yeah, Townsville, they are now screaming. Uh, Papa, you haven't been here. I'm coming to Townsville. Don't worry, I'm coming. I am coming. So you are very welcome. Alice Springs, you are very welcome. God is still speaking today. God is going to change your life today. God is going to impart something new in your life today. By the time we end the, the service, your life will not be the same. You will have shifted to another level. So get ready. Relax. Have your note. Have your note part because I'll be speaking things here which uh, you need to take notes. You need to keep a record of what I'll say today because God is going to speak something new to your life. So thank you so much for tuning live, for joining us. I'm preaching here from uh, Brisbane. Those who joined us in the morning, I was preaching in Sydney. But now I'm preaching here in Brisbane. So thank you so much for joining us live. I promise you, God will touch your life. So stay tuned. Now, how many are here for the first time? This is your first time to be here with us. This is your first time. Oh my God. Rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. Stand up. Stand up. Wow. Those close to them, just shake your hands. Come on, shake hands, shake hands. Welcome them, welcome them, welcome them. Welcome them, welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them, wherever they are. So this is your first time. Really? Really? How did you hear about streams? Ah, you brought them. What did she say? Come and see. So you're all looking on to see now. Yes, I'm going to say it's the first time. Okay. All right. Yes, you will see. I will see. Don't yes. worry. <laughs> you will see. Yes. God will touch your life. Are you hearing me? Mm. Yes. God will touch your life. Because in the realm of the spirit. Can I prophesy? <laughs> prophesy. I'm hearing a word that your time for tears is over. I don't know what that means for you. What does it mean? Every time I go to church, I get tears. Yeah? I always get tears in my eyes. Mm. How has your life been? It's been hard. Hard. Stressful. And you've been crying a lot. Sometimes, Just get tears. Sometimes, yeah. Tears rolling down. Yeah. And you even don't know why they're rolling down. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Your tears are over. Today is your day. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Mm, today is your day. Is that making sense? Mm, today is your day. All right. Thank you. Ah, can I prophesy? Professor. Are you sure? Yes, Papa. Are you sure? Oh, yes. For real? Yes, Papa. Okay. <laughs> I should do something. Do it, son of prophet. And I've changed my mind. You are too quiet. Can I have the testimony? Let, let me have the testimony. You are too quiet. I am allergic to environments which are too quiet. In my house, we are not quiet. I've got three boys, so we're always making noise. Prophesy, Papa, prophesy. When I get to a place where people are just looking at me, I feel allergic. No. <laughs> I receive. But your time for tears are over. Are you hearing me? Because God is going to turn your life around. I receive. Are you hearing me? Where's the testimony? Okay. Sir, please tell us your name, where you're coming from, and your testimony. 
Um, my name is Joseph, and um, I'm a member of Fire Stream, Bridge Remy Stream, Stream International. And uh, I've just got a short testimony for this week, which was on Thursday after work. Um, I went home, and then uh, I was sitting home watching TV, and then um, I told my partner, I was really going to make it to Melbourne. And then she's like, don't worry, God can do something possible. And then I was like, okay, you're right, for sure. So and then um, we went to bed. I woke up in the morning at 5 o'clock. Before I put on my work clothes, um, I felt like checking my, um, my bank account on my phone. And um, always I normally do. And I was like, I'm just checking. Never know, there could be something. <laughs> so um, <laughs> when I checked it, um, I found Wow. Say wow. Wow. Say wow. 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 So you checked your bank account. Yes. And then you found 2,000? 407 cents. 2,471 and? cents. And you don't know where it came from? I have no idea where it came from. I was shocked when I saw it. It's not your employer who paid you or anything? No. Nah, no. Nah. Nah? Miracle money. Miracle money. Miracle money. Miracle money. Oh my God. Someone should receive the miracle money now. Come on, receive. Come on, receive. Come on, receive. Somebody receive your miracle money. Jesus, somebody. Are you there, somebody? Oh, yes. Receive your own miracle money. I receive. I decree and I declare. I receive. You know, these things are real. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. I said these things are what? Real. I know some people go, yeah, you can't work, you know. Fortnight, and then they pay you, you know. Miracle money. If Jesus told Peter, go to the lake fishing, the first fish you get, open the mouth. Wait a minute. How many fish were in that lake? Now hearing me. How many fish were in that lake? And how did Peter know the exact spot to go? To meet the fish that was carrying man in the mouth. Are you hearing me? Because Jesus said go to the lake. He didn't say you know, at GPS this place. He just told him to go where? To the lake. And then the statement, the first fish that you catch, open the mouth. You are, found, you are going to find what? Money in his mouth. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that miracle money is possible. Oh, yes. If you believe, receive it. I receive. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Miracle money is what? Possible. So if you believe, receive. Say I receive. I receive. Say I receive. I receive. 
So you are going to the conference. Yes, definitely. Well, that's a lot of money. You need to take one more one or two other people. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Say I connect. <laughs> Don't go and be in a five star hotel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Rest upon them. Surprise them more and more. More miracles in their life. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Take it. More miracles in your life. Let God surprise you. Take it. Jesus, it is done. Are there somebody? Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Ah, miracle money. Miracle money. money. Miracle money. Who is next? Me, Papa. Who is next? On the queue for miracle money. Oh, yes. Huh? Who is next? You? Are you sure? Okay. You shall come back with a testimony. I receive. I said you are coming back with a testimony. testimony. Are you there? Yes, Papa. Okay. Now, allow me to teach the word. Are you going to allow me to teach the word? I want to continue where I stopped this morning. I was going somewhere and then I had to stop in Sydney. And the Holy Ghost said, no, 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 son, continue from where you stopped. So Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. If you are there, say amen. Hebrews chapter 4. I'll read from verse number 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any treasured sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Say amen. amen. The Bible gives us some characteristics of the word of God. Say characteristics. Characteristics. Say characteristics. Characteristics. When we talk about characteristics of a thing, we talk about its behavior. The way it behaves. Are you hearing me? I'm talking about its what? Behavior. The way it what? Behaves. Or things that describe the thing we are looking at. Is that making sense? A description of the thing. So when we say characteristics of a particular thing, we are talking about its behaviors. Things that we expect the thing to show. We call them what? Characteristics. So here we are dealing with the word of God. And the Bible gives us some characteristics of that word of God. Are you hearing me? So number one, the Bible says, for the word of God is what? Quick. Ah. So in other words, when you look at the word of God, your mind should now begin to process what you are looking at. Because most of us, when we look at the word of God, we just think it's words written on a page of the Bible. But the Bible is, is beginning now to show you that there is more to the word of God that one you, that what, than what you see in the pages of the Bible. That that word that you are looking at is actually quick. Say quick. Say quick. And quick means alive. Okay? So the word of God is a living thing. It is alive. 
But most of us, we haven't understood that the word of God is actually a living thing. <laughs> mm. Can I go deeper? Most of us, we think the word of God is just something that someone wrote on the pages of the Bible. But the word of God is a living thing. Are you hearing me? Now, because it's a living thing, you need to understand that the way you read it is, is going to be different. You don't read the word of God like a newspaper. That you just read, 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 read. No. -uh. Because the word of God is a living thing. You need to handle it with care. It is a living thing. You are not hearing me at all. Professor. You are not hearing me at all. It is a living thing. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. It is what? A living thing. So the Bible says, for the word of God is quick. In other words, it's living. Now, the reason why the Bible begins by saying for, for, say for. 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 It's trying now to define something that happened earlier on in that passage. In that passage, the Bible says, there is a place of rest which God wants his children to enter into. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. God wants his children to enter into a place of what? Rest. Now, when a man has entered into a place of rest, they have entered into a place where they don't struggle anymore. Hearing me at all. You're not hearing me at all. You're not hearing me at all. You have entered into a place where you are not struggling anymore. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. You don't struggle anymore. Hmm? It's a place where things happen. You cause things to happen. You change the situation. Anything that's not desirable for you, you can change it. It's a place of rest. But many children of God, they were born again. It's true. Spirit filled, yes. But today they still struggle. Their lives are still in a mess. Why? Because they haven't yet entered into a place of rest. But God's plan, God's idea is that you should enter into a place of rest. Because as a king and a royal priest, you are not hearing me at all. You see, the Bible says you are a royal priesthood. In other words, you are a king and a priest. As a king, you are supposed to control things by the power of your word. A king does not rise up to go do things for himself. He only speaks and others obey and he do what he said. Are you hearing me, somebody? So in other words, a king is in a place of rest. He sits on the throne. All he can do is to command and things take place. Why? Because he has got authority and power. Mm. I don't know whether you're hearing what I'm saying. So the Bible says the children of Israel... huh? God had promised them that you are going to enter into a land called Canaan. A land that flows with milk and what? Honey. Now, the land of Canaan is a land which symbolizes a place of rest. Where there's a flowing of milk and honey. And as we continue reading Hebrews chapter 4. The Bible says, although Joshua, of course it uses the word Jesus. Although Joshua took them physically into a land called Canaan. They never got rest in that land. Why? Because they did not have faith. You are not hearing me at all. Because they didn't have what? Faith. So although they physically entered into a place called Canaan, they didn't have rest. Huh? And today as I'm speaking to you, they are still fighting. Professor Papa. Am I right? Yes. They are still fighting today as I'm speaking to you. Oh, yes. They have to build walls, big walls to protect themselves. They haven't rested yet. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. They are still fighting today as I'm speaking to you. Why? Because the Bible says they did not mix the word which they had with faith. Oh, yes. That's true, Papa. Go deeper. Now, now the Bible says if God gave them rest then there's no reason why the Bible should be talking about rest again in our day. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. But when you read in the book of Psalms, David is talking about a day of rest and a time of rest. He says, I want you guys to work hard to enter into a place of rest. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Because if those people had entered a place of rest, then the Bible should not talk about us entering a place of what? Rest. But because they did not manage to enter a place called rest, he says there's still an opportunity today for someone to enter a place called rest. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Now, he explains why our friends and our brothers failed to enter that place. 
they did not mix the word with the faith. So it says, for the word of God, for the word of God is living. Now, you are not hearing me at all. Now, because the word of God is a living thing, Professor Papa, go deeper. I don't know whether you can handle this. Go deeper, Papa. Oh, yes. Can you handle it? Oh, yes. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Because the word of God is a living thing. Huh? It's a living thing. It has got an ability to know who is believing it and who is not believing it. That's true, Papa. Are you me, somebody? Oh, yes. It has got an ability to check you. Yes. Professor. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. It checks you. When you are reading it, it checks you. Should I reveal myself to this person or not? because we don't know what we're dealing with we just open the Bible oh Lord show me where I should read you close your Bible Leviticus chapter 2 oh Moses sacrificed it. this is too hard we close again Lord show me where to read Romans chapter 1 uh -uh. the word of God is a living thing are you hearing me somebody oh, yes. it is a living thing as you are busy going, oh Lord, show me. It is checking you out. It goes, ah, this one. Nah, 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 not this one. That's why when people go to the Bible to read it so that they can disprove it, it confuses them. It is a living thing. It knows how to defend itself. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes, Papa. It knows how to defend itself. Oh, yes. You cannot defend the word of God. The word of God defends itself. Why? It is a living thing. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. It is a living thing. It defends itself. It knows how to confuse its enemies. There are many people who went into the Bible looking to disprove it. It confused them. But listen to me. When you become born again and your desires to know the word of God, the Bible says that word of God is a living thing. And because it's a living thing, it begins to unveil itself. It begins to reveal itself to you. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes, Papa. Say, that's me. That's me. Say that's me. That's me. Say that's me. That's me. Are you there? Yes. Mm. Can I go deeper? Go deeper. Are you sure? Oh yes, Papa. You are able to handle what I'm saying. Oh yes. Are you able to handle what I'm sharing now? Oh you. yes. Watching me from Adelaide. You. <laughs> go deeper, Papa. Ah, Jesus Christ. This word of God, my sons and my daughters, you have to love it. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. You have to what? Love it. Because when you begin to love it, it begins to reveal itself to you. Oh, yes. And most of us, we don't have any revelation at all. Why? Because we look at the word of God as something which is a duty. We read it as a duty. We read it as a leisure, part-time thing that we do on part-time. It's not something that our lives are into it. Uh -uh. But let me tell you today, you need to make up your mind that you are going to invest yourself in the word of God. Because the moment you begin to invest yourself in the word of God, the word of God begins to reveal itself to you. Because the Bible says, for the word of God is living, it is quick and powerful. I hear me somebody. It is quick and what? Powerful. It is living and powerful. Oh, yes. It is a living thing. It's not something that's written on a page of a book. It is a living thing. Oh, yes. That's why your Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So in other words, when you're looking at the word of God, you're not looking at just something that was spoken and written. Uh -uh. You're looking at God Almighty himself. It is a living thing. Oh, Am yes. I talking to somebody right here? Oh, yes, Are you hearing me? Yes. It is a living thing. The word of God is a living thing. Oh, yes. Because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Now, Christians wonder why their life is in a total mess. They wonder why. Can I tell you? 
Can I give you the reason? Tell us, Papa. It's because you don't have the word of God in you. That's right. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. So the word of God is a living thing. It is a living thing. It is quick, but also what? Powerful. Oh, papa, me, papa, me, papa, 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 what? Papa, papa, what? You got to have the word of God inside of you. The Bible does not say you have to read the word of God. It says, let the word of God dwell in you richly. In other words, that word has been transferred from a book to where it's now dwelling inside a person. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes, you need to transfer it from the book into, into inside of you. Mm. 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 Can I go deep? Go deeper, Papa. You haven't started catching up yet. Go deeper, Papa. You haven't started receiving yet. For the word of God is quick. It's a living thing. It breathes. It's a living thing. Are you hearing me? I receive. It sees. I said it what? Sees. Because it's a living thing. That's what Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 and 13 is all about. It says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any treasure sword, piercing even to the dividing of soul and spirit. Are you hearing me? Okay? Are you, are you hearing me? And then verse number 13 it says, there's nothing hidden in his sight. They change. Are you getting it? From the word of God to his. The his there is not Jesus or God. Ah, they're talking about the word of God. It's a he. It's a he. Say he. he. Now, the word he is for something that's alive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Oh, yes. It's a he. Say he. he. In other words, it's a living thing. Are you getting what I'm saying? Oh, yes, so there's nothing hidden in his sight, but all things are open and naked unto him with whom we have to do. So in other words, when you read the word of God, it is a living thing. You transfer it into your life. It begins to search your life. Are you getting me? Oh, it yes. begins to scan you. Begin to scan you. Begins to scan you. Begins to scan you. Begins to scan you. When it finds any sickness or disease somewhere inside of you. Oh, you're not hearing me at all. You're not hearing me at all. When it finds any sickness or disease inside of you listen to me when it finds any sickness or disease inside of you it is sharper than any treasure sort of it begins to cut off any sickness and any disease are you hearing me somebody ah 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 oh doctor surgery i'm going to the doctor for surgery there's something sharper than the doctor's knife it is called it the word of God. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. That word of God inside of you can do the surgery for you. You don't need a physical man to do a physical surgery on you. The word of God is able to do a spiritual surgery on you. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes, Papa. Are you hearing me? It is sharper than any two-edged sword. The way God designed you as a child of God, you are not supposed to be sick. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. I said you are not supposed to be what? Sick. sick. Because God gave you everything that you require to live a healthy life. Is that making sense? Yes, Papa. God gave you what? Everything. That you need to live a healthy life. But most of us, we're not experiencing the healthy life that God has given us. Because we don't have the word of God inside of us. Yes. We have the word of God in our Bibles, but not inside of us. Oh, yes. That's true, Papa. You are not hearing me at all. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because the Bible says in the book of John chapter 15, verse number 7. John 15, 7. Look at it. John 15, 7. John chapter 15, verse 7. Have you found it? What does it say? If ye 
abide in me and my words abide in you you shall ask what you desire or what you will it shall be done unto you there are two conditions to answer the prayer say two conditions two conditions there are two what conditions conditions to what to answer the prayer condition number 1 if you abide in who jesus christ condition number 2 if his word abide in you now most of us we read our bibles and then we close and then we go away are you hearing me that word is not yet abiding in you because to abide means something has made its home inside of you are you hearing me oh, yes. the word has made its home inside of who you not in the bible ah, you have transferred it from the bible it's now making its home inside of you it dwells inside of you are you hearing me somebody oh, yes. you didn't only read it but you took it with you it's now residing inside of you so jesus says if you are going to be in him and his word is going to be inside of you you shall ask so in other words answers to your prayer are connected to the word abiding inside of you Yes. You are not hearing me at all. Professor. You are not hearing me. Answers to prayer are connected to the word dwelling inside of you. So Christians wonder why is it that when I pray things don't happen? I say demon, go. Even demon is whipping you. Say hey, you guy, move. Nothing is moving. Ah! The reason is because the word of God is not yet abiding inside of you. Because the word of God is a living thing. Are you hearing me somebody? Oh, yes. You see, Jesus is in heaven. Is that correct? Where's Jesus? Jesus is in heaven. Seated on the right hand of God. Where? In heaven. Is that correct? Yes, Papa. Is that correct? Yes. But if I was going to ask you, is Jesus in your heart? What would you say? Yes, Jesus is in my heart. Yeah? Is he in heaven or is he in your heart? Where is he? Is your heart in heaven? Professor, God no, no, doctor. is your heart heaven? Jesus is seated in heaven on the right hand of the Father. Are you hearing me? Now, I want you to see. He says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. He doesn't say, if you abide in me and I abide in you. He says that statement earlier on. Are you getting me? He says it earlier on. In other words, Jesus abiding in you. He can only abide in you by his word. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. By his word, he is going to abide in you. So when we say Jesus is in my heart, you are not talking about the Jesus, the son of God, who is sitting on the right hand of heaven. Ah, you are talking about his word abiding inside of you. When that word has begun abiding inside of you, then Jesus has... Uh, you are not hearing me at all. God the Father lives inside of you by the Holy Spirit. And Jesus lives inside of you by his word. Go deeper, Papa, professor. And this is where most of us have a problem. We say, I am born again. But nobody sees any Jesus inside of you. Because we haven't made the word to abide inside of us. Are you hearing me? Is that making sense? Yes, Papa. Is that making sense? Yes, Prophet. Because when the word begins to abide inside of you, you have no choice. But Christ is going to appear. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. I'm laughing at you. How much Jesus do you have inside of you? Let me ask that question. How much Christ do you have inside of you? If I was going to do a spiritual scanner, how much Christ am I going to see inside of you? Many of us, Christ hasn't formed yet inside of us. No wonder the way we speak, the way we speak, the way we think, the way we do our things, there's no Christ at all. Yet by name, 
we say, I am born again. Jesus is in my heart. The only way Jesus can be in your heart is by his word. He abides in you by his word. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me? Jesus abides in your heart by his word. God the Father abides in your heart by his word, spirit. Is that making sense? So when the Bible says, for the word of God is living, quick, living, it's not talking about some words, it's talking about Christ himself. Because Christ is the word. You are not hearing me at all. Because Christ is the what? The word. So the Bible is giving you a hint that, uh, by the way, this word is a living word. Why? Because that word is Christ himself. Why? Because in the beginning was the what? The word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. Who is the him? Him is the word. Are you hearing me? All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him, in the word, was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness and darkness comprehended not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness. He was sent by witness of the word. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? That all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but he was sent by witness of the light. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, but the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and blood among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten the father full of grace and truth the bible says the word was made what flesh are you hearing me oh yes am i talking to somebody right here oh yes papa are you hearing me yes okay. if i was going to squeeze what is going to come out of you if i was going to squeeze what's going to come out of you Uh-uh. Say not me. Not me. Say not me. Not me. Say not me. Not me. When things begin to squeeze you, they need to stitch, they need to see verses popping out of you. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. You need to begin to speak the word of God, which is inside of you, not looking at your Bible saying, Ah, uh, but the Bible says. The Bible, the devil is not afraid of what the Bible says. Are you hearing me, somebody? The devil is afraid of the word which is abiding inside of you. Because when that word is abiding inside of you, then you've got Christ inside of you. Am I talking to somebody right here? When the word begins to abide inside of you, it begins to change things around you. You've got your Bible, you can go and buy your biggest, the biggest Bible there is on earth. You can sleep on it as a pillow. Nothing will change in your life. I receive. But it is when that word begins to abide inside of you. Are you hearing me, somebody? When that word takes rest just inside of you, when that word begins to spell inside of you, that it becomes alive. It begins to rise. Are you hearing me, somebody? It begins to rise up and begins to fight the battle on your behalf. Change everything around you. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes. You see, we miss the point why God gave us the word. We miss it. Why? We haven't done with the word what we should have done. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, Papa. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Hmm. I don't know how deep I should go. Go deeper, Papa. I think I've lost half of the group already. Go deeper. I've lost half of the group. No, Papa. I, I, are you all still here? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Can I do a test? Yes. And see who is lost. You are looking at the, not me. Not don't ask me. <laughs> Go deeper, Papa. <laughs> not me. Can I check if you are hearing what I'm saying? This what I'm teaching you. What I'm teaching you is critical. This month, this whole month, the teachings are all about the Word of God. This whole month. The month of August is the month of the word of God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Because in the realm of the spirit, mm, no, no. Professor, it is month number eight. And month number eight 
has got something very important. Because the number eight in the prophetic is a number of new beginning. I receive. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. It is a number of what? New beginning. Apart from zero, the only other number which is continuous is what? Eight. Eight. It goes down, goes back up again. Down. So even if your finances were down, they'll go up again. I don't know whether you what I'm saying. I go, ah, I, I, you're not hearing me. Because it is a number of new what? Beginning. I so even if anything was down, it is going to come up again. Because it's a number of what? New beginning. Can I go deeper? Go deeper, Papa Professor. When you look at Jesus, Jesus, he died. He was buried in the grave. Three days, three nights. He resurrected. New beginning on the first day of the week. Which was day number eight. I've go lost you now. Papa, papa, go deep, I've papa, lost deep. you. Sunday is day number one. Monday, day number two. Tuesday, three. Wednesday, four. Thursday, five. Friday, six. Saturday, seven. So we got the seventh day, right? So Monday is day number eight. No, 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 no. Uh, Sunday, not Monday, Sunday. Sunday. After seventh day, which is Saturday, the next day is what? Sunday, which is day number what? Eight. And Jesus rose again on the first day of the week, which is Sunday, day number what? Eight. Prophesy, Papa. Prophesy. So the number eight is a number of resurrection. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. The number eight is a number of what? Resurrection. And so the Holy Ghost said, the month of August, teach on the word of God. Because the word of God can bring a new beginning in people's lives. I receive. I know you're not hearing me. I receive. Today you are too slow. Prophesy, Papa. I'm bearing with you. You are too much, Papa. Prophesy. I, I am putting up with you today. You are too slow. I think I need to go back to my mountain. Oh, no. I enjoy on that mountain. Ah! This prophetic thing. You need to be fast to catch. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes. <laughs> Simo, Simo. <laughs> so the month of August is month number what? Eight. A month of new what? Beginnings. beginnings. Is that making sense? Yes. Now, there is no new beginning without the word. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Because the power of new beginning is in the word of God. So the Bible says, for the word of God is living. So when you look at the word of God, you're looking at something that's living. Now, if it is living, then it makes sense. Because John chapter 1 verse 14, the Bible says, and the word was made. The word was made. The word was made. Made what? Fresh. Very, very important point. In other words, when you look at the word of God, it is capable of being made something. Go deeper, Papa, professor. It is capable of being made what? Something. something. So even if there was nothing, all a person needs is the word of God. Because what Jesus says in that verse I showed you, John 15, verse 7, says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, what you will, not God's will, but what you will. Most of us, we read the wrong things in that verse. We talk about God's will, but that verse doesn't talk about God's. It talks about your will, your personal will. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. In other words, when the word of God is living inside of you, it develops a will inside of you that you say, this is my will. And the Bible says you shall ask the thing that you desire. And when you ask it, the thing is going to be made for you. Am I talking to somebody right here? Because the word of God has got the creative power. It can create. Therefore, even if a person was a failure, when the person begins to read the word of God, even if a person was a failure, 
when that man begins to put the word of God inside of him, the Bible says the word of God is able to create a new man out of a failure. Am I talking to somebody right here? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Ah! How are you going to change your life? Huh? It's not because your father gave you an inheritance. Most of you have no inheritance at all from your parents. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's true. Uh-huh. Are you hearing me? But that does not matter. All you need is the word of God inside of you. Because the word of God is the beginning of everything. Because in the beginning was the word. When you've got the word, then you've got a beginning. Brother, are you hearing me, somebody? When you've got the word, you've got a what? Beginning. Say beginning. Beginning. Say beginning. Beginning. Say beginning. Beginning. Ah. Papa, I don't know where to start from. And the Bible has already told you the word of God is the beginning. Professor, Papa. Papa, my life is a mess. I don't know where to start from. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Really? Haven't you read in your Bible that the word of God is the beginning? It says, in the beginning was the word. When you've got the word inside of you, you've got a beginning. I prophesy to you today. I receive. I prophesy to your life today. I receive. Let there be a new beginning in your life. I receive. Let there be a new beginning in your life. I receive. Whatsoever you felt, I turn it around. I receive. Let there be a new beginning in you. I receive. Are you there, somebody? Oh, yes. Are you, re are you receiving? Oh, yes, I receive. <laughs> now you see what I'm talking about. Can oh, you yes. see it? Can you see it? Yes. Let me see. How deep should I go? Very deep, Papa. Go deeper. I should go deeper. Oh, yes. Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1, verse number 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse number 8. The Bible says something there. Let's read together. One, two, three, go. Uh, wait. One, two, three, go. I don't know why. I think that you can do better than that. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't know why I've got so much faith in you that you can do better than that. Can I try again? Yes. Can I try again? Oh, yes, Papa. Okay. One, two, three, go. the law shall not depart out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all according to what is written in it. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? The place the Bible says it shall not depart from is your mouth. Is that making sense? It is your what? Mouth. Now, I want you to see, it is not saying your hands. Because most of us, we have our Bible where? In our hands. But the Bible is not about your hands. It says your what? Mouth. Hmm. Hmm. Now, if it is your mouth, 
then I can conclude that the place where it is coming from is not the book that you're looking at with your eyes. It is coming from inside of you. Oh, yes, you're not Papa. hearing me. It is coming from where? Inside of you. So the Bible says this book of the law, you've managed to take the book and put it inside of you. Huh? And then it says, it shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate. The word meditate is to regurgitate. Huh? Oh, yes. To regurgitate means something that is inside of you. You bring it out, chew it again, swallow. Bring it out, chew it again, swallow. Bring it out, chew it again, swallow. And you speak it over and over. You put it back inside, you bring it out, speak it over, over. you bring it back, you bring it out again, speak, speak. You put it. Are you hearing me? Okay. So this book of the shall not depart out of your mouth. In other words, your mouth is the instrument of your prosperity. Oh, yes. Yes, you think your mouth is for eating ugali and the fish and the rice and what? No. And the, and the, and the, and the, and the bananas and the, and the chicken. Ah, ah, your professor. Your success is in your mouth. Your prosperity is in your mouth. Yes. Your greatness is in your mouth. Oh, Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes, it is right there in your mouth. I receive. <laughs> is it in your Bibles? Oh, yes. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your what? Your mouth. In other words, God knows. God knows. When you get the word in your mouth, we think the mouth is only for eating physical food and the swallow to feed our physical body. Uh uh. Your mouth is also equipped to feed your spirit. I receive. That's correct, Papa. You are not hearing me. Is that correct? Oh, yes. Let me prove to you. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. So in other words, eating of physical bread has to be alternated, or, or, alternated by eating spiritual bread, which is the word of God. Yes, Papa. The same mouth. Go to Papa, Papa, Professor. So when you hear me saying, in the beginning was the word, and the word was, I'm, I'm, I am eating that word. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. I put the word from my spit now, it's now in my mouth. I'm speaking it over and over. I am eating that word. I'm eating that word. I'm chewing that word. And the Bible says, as soon as I'm doing that, I am going to prosper. I'm going to move forward. Am I going to move forward? I'm going to move forward. I'm going to make progress. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes. Oh. Are you hearing me? So how can I prosper? I have nothing. No, 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 no. You've got a beginning. Your beginning is in the word of God. You've got something. It is in the word of God. Get the word into your system. And when you get the word inside of you, begin to speak it. Begin to speak it. Begin to speak it. Because when you begin to speak the word of God, uh, you're not hearing me at all. You're not hearing me at all. When you begin to speak the word of God, the Bible shows, give me the verse again. Shows you something. Shows you something. That happens. Say, that's me, that's me, that's me. That's me. Say, that's my story. That's my story. It says, when you do that, thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Now, this is a very important point because many Christians, they are born again, but their life does not reflect Christ. And they struggle to be Christians. That's correct. Now my sons and my daughters who are not yet married. I receive. You better not receive that one. Don't receive that one. You don't know where I'm going. I reject. Say, I disconnect. I disconnect. <laughs> My sons and daughters who are not yet married, you better get married very quickly. I receive. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. You better get married very what? Quickly. quickly. Because in the realm of the spirit, you are already married. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Papa. Go deeper. Am I confusing you? 
Uh, In the realm of the spirit, you're already what? Married. As long as you are staying together with that one, you are married to that one. Mm. Professor. So when I say you better get married, I'm speaking human language. What I mean is you need to come and should bless you. Because you're already married in the spirit. Oh, yes. Is that making sense? Yes, Papa. Is that making sense? Yes, Papa. So many people struggle to live a holy life. They struggle with sin. The reason is they don't have the word of God abiding inside of them. They don't meditate on the word. Because the Bible says the moment the word is in you and you begin to meditate, that word begins to make you live a holy life. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes, it's Papa. not you making an effort. Uh -uh. The Bible says that word inside of you is going to cause you. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. It is going to cause you live a holy life. Oh, yes. You try to tell a lie, but the word inside of you is going to push you towards the truth. Oh, yes. It is a living thing. I receive, Papa. Now you understand what I'm saying? Eh? Oh, yes. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is in the end. For then, say for then. Say for then. For then. Say for then. For then. Thou. 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 Okay. Prosperity has been given in your hands. I receive. It is your responsibility to make yourself prosperous. Oh, yes. I don't know whether you are hearing at all what I'm saying. It is your responsibility to make yourself what? Prosperous. prosperous. How? This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. For then thou shalt have good success. Good. Say good success. Good success. Say good success. Good success. It's not only success, but good what? Success. Having one car is success. But good success is when your driveway is filled with cars. You are, too, you are too slow, you are too slow, you are too slow. You are too slow, you are too slow, you are too slow. Having one house is good. But having five houses, that's good success. I receive. Passing your exam is good. But passing with a high distinction, that one is good success. I receive. I received that one. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Being healed of the sickness is good. But not being sick at all, that one is better. I receive. Yes, that's correct, Papa. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. Having one business is good. But having five businesses, that one is better. I connect. I the receive. Bible says, then you shall have good word, suck, says. Not only are you prosperous, but you have got good word, suck, says. That's why today I'm prophesying to you, by the power of the word of God, you are going to have good, suck, says. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. Say, I receive. I receive. Say, I receive. I receive. Because of the weight. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. We miss the point. And then we wonder why we struggle every day. The Bible says when you've got the word inside of you, huh? that word, because it's a living thing, it is able to produce success out of you. Go deeper, Papa. Oh, yes. Is that in your Bibles? Yes, Papa. Oh, it's only in mine. Uh -uh. Is that in your Bibles? Oh, yes. Is that in your Bibles? Oh, yes. Do you have it in your Bibles? Oh, yes. Then thou shalt have good suck says oh yes say that's my life that's my life say that's my life that is my life say that's my life that's my life say that's my life that's my life say from today from today i'll eat the word i will eat the word i will chew the word i will chew the word i'll meditate on the word i will meditate on the word then then i'll be able i'll be able to live to live a holy life a holy life then then I'll be able, I'll be able to, be to be prosperous and have, and have good, good success. success. <laughs> because of time. Go deeper, Papa. I think I should finish because of time. Oh, no, Papa. Oh, my God. Time is gone. 
prophesy. Continue, Papa, we missed you. Prophesy. Are you getting something? Oh, yes, Papa. Are you sure? Yes. You are being blessed? Oh, yes. You are seeing something? Yes. So, if a person hmm, is in a place where they have nothing, nothing, nothing that they can point out that this is what I have, the only thing the person needs to do is to get the word of God into inside of them. Amen. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. Because when you get that word inside of you, the Bible says, number one, you're going to be walking according to the ways of God. Oh, yes. And then number two, you become prosperous. Oh, yes. And then number three, you have good success. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. To prosper means to make progress. To prosper means to be unstoppable. To prosper means you have got more than enough. Oh, yes. To prosper means you are living in abundance. Yes. To prosper means you are living a life of relaxing. Are yes. you hearing me, somebody? Yes, Papa. So when the Bible says the children of Israel could not enter into a place to call you raised, it's because they didn't believe the word of God. They didn't mix it with their faith. So because of that, they have to fight always toiling, toiling, working hard always. But for you and for me, we understand the revelation behind what I'm talking about today. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. We've got the revelation. Therefore, we can do something different from them. Now, when the word of God has begun abiding inside of you, you enter a place called rest. Professor. You are not hearing me at all. Because your Bible says in the book of Second Peter chapter chapter 1. Mm. Mm. I know you are trying to check the Bible. You are, you are trying to look there. Look, what, what do you see? What do you see there? You are trying to check where I am reading. I tricked you. Eh? <laughs> Second Peter chapter 1 <laughs> from verse number 1. Prophecy. The Bible says Simon Peter an apostle a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and of our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of him. You are not hearing me at all. Grace and peace be what? Multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. So grace, what is grace? Grace is God's own divine ability at work in a human being. Yes. Alright? What is peace? Peace is prosperity. Oh yes. Yes, Papa. You're not hearing me. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. So it says grace and peace. In other words, divine ability and prosperity can increase in your life through the knowledge of God. Grace and peace be multiplied unto through what? The knowledge of God. Through what? The knowledge of God. You can multiply grace, divine ability. You can multiply it. Now, when you say this is the grace, it's a place where you are not toiling and struggling. Is that making sense? Yes, Papa. You are not toiling and what? Struggling. So grace and peace. Peace is irene. And irene means prosperity. You can increase them through the knowledge of God. Oh, yes. When you take that word, put it inside of you. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. You enter into a place where the grace begins to work for you. You enter into a place where prosperity begins to show up. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, Papa. So this month, month of August, I want you to make up your mind that you are going to get yourself into the word of God like never before. You are going to study the word of God like never before. You are going to read your Bible like never before. You are going to read and read and read and memorize your Bible like never before. After memorizing, you are going to be speaking the word of God like never before. Are you hearing me, somebody? Oh, yes. When you are sleeping, you speak the word of God. It's day and what? 
night. This book of thou shalt not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate there in day and night. As you sleep, Professor. And the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. In the, be- oh, in the beginning, all things, all things were made by him, and with them was everything made that was made. When you are waking up, in the beginning was the word. Up. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. When you begin to do that, listen to me. Yes. Without even you knowing it, without even you understanding it, yes. money will begin to locate you. Favor is going to come your way. Are you hearing me, somebody? Ah. 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 God has given you everything that you need to succeed. Oh, yes. It is in His Word. Are you hearing me, somebody? It is where in His Word. You wonder why God didn't give you houses and cars? He gave you His Word. Because if God had given you houses and cars, if He gave you five, it's, you are limited to five houses and five cars. But because He gave you the Word. There's no limit for you. I, I said there's no limit for you. You have got houses, you have got cars. There's no limit for you. You've got houses, you've got cars. There's no limit for you. You've got money, you've got business. There's no limit for you. Everything that you need is hidden in the white. I receive. Go deeper, Papa. Professor. A house is perishable. But the word of God liveth and abideth forever. Oh, yes. The word of God can never perish. Are you hearing me, somebody? Once a house can fall apart, if you've got the word of God inside of you, you go, oh, well, it happened. My house has fallen apart. Let me produce another one. And then you begin to speak and say, I am not a failure. I'm not limited. I am going somewhere. I am prosperous. I'm getting bigger. I'm getting bigger. I'm getting bigger. And before you know it, you've got house number two. And then you go, I've got two houses. You begin to confess again. I am prosperous. I am prosperous. I am making progress. I'm going somewhere. I'm going higher. Before you know it, four houses. I am. Am I talking somewhere right here? Yes. yes are, you there? are 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 you there? Oh, yes. You are going to prosper. I'm talking about you. I receive. I'm talking about you are going to prosper. I receive. By the word of God. I receive. This world is going to be shocked. I receive. Listen to me. They look at you as someone has got nothing. But let me tell you today, oh, yes. you've got something. Yes. You've got the word of God. Yes. They look at you as someone who just came to Australia some few years ago. Yes. But it doesn't matter. Yes. You came with something inside of you. It is called the word of God. Yes. And because of that word of God, you're going to prosper. Yes. Because of the word of God, you've got somewhere to start from. Yes. Am I hearing are you? Am I talking to somebody right now? Yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. You've got something inside of you. Yes. We're going to take you higher. And we're going to go higher. Yes. And we're going to go higher. Yes. You're going to go higher. You're going to go higher. I receive. Mm. Oh. Am I talking to somebody right here? Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? I receive. Are you following or being followed? Professor, Papa. Are you following? We're following. Are you following? We are following. Or you are being followed? No, no, no. We've been you following. are following. We are following. You are following. Yes. That there's something inside of you. Yes. There's something inside of you. Oh, yes. Quote the word of God. Yes. And the Bible says Christ in you. Yes. The hope of glory. I receive. Ah. I receive. I. I. When you've got Jesus inside of you, oh, yes. it is the word of God abiding inside of you. And the Bible says that word of God inside of you, yes. it is the hope of glory. Shake your neighbor, shake your neighbor, shake your neighbor, shake your neighbor. Say there's something inside of me, neighbor. <laughs> Tell them never, never, never. There is something inside of me. Inside I am me. going somewhere. Going somewhere. I, am I am unstoppable. I am unconquerable. I am, unconquerable. I am undefeatable. I am, undefeatable. Undefeatable. I am taking over, neighbor. I, I am over. taking over. I am taking over. <laughs> Say, neighbor, I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. So I'm taking over, I'm taking over, I'm taking over. I am going somewhere. I'm making progress, neighbor. I am making progress, neighbor. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, Papa. I receive. Just begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray. Rise on your feet and begin to pray. Begin to pray now. Rise on your feet. Begin to pray. 
Remando se te para sota que parroja, rique te que paluca sota que parroja, e se mal sota que parroja, e pre 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 Riba ma sette himo, Pre 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 Oh Lord, oh Lord, change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. By the power, by the power of your word. Of your word. Let there be. Let there be a new beginning. A new beginning. Today, today in my life. By the power of your word. Of your word. Let there be. Let there be a new beginning. A new beginning in my life today. In my life today. By the power. By the power of your word. Of your word. Pray, 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 pray. E che zete, e che Rampara baba sita ya kando reko frani veshita rakete ya baba sita reko. I prophesy a new beginning in your life today. I receive. New beginning in your life today. I receive. New beginning for you today. Mando sofa tu shipre de kese keti yama. I receive. Zete reto fa ashata masuki ato. I receive. I want to pray for people now who are saying, Papa, me, I want a new beginning. I'm tired of going in circles. I want a new beginning in my life. If you are saying, I want a new beginning, can I pray for you? Because in the realm of the spirit, what's your name? Rosie. Ro? Rosie. Rosie. I'm seeing circles and circles and circles and circles around your life. You have been going in circles. Is that making any sense? Huh? Yeah. yeah? Going in circles. 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 You say, oh, now I want to start again. And then you find yourself where you were before. And then you try to, to make some progress. You're going in circles. I'm seeing circles around your life. But tonight, God is going to deliver you. I God is going to set you free. I Are you hearing me? Yes, Are you hearing me? You came with who? You came alone? Huh? Did you come with someone? No, I came by myself. I drove to the hospital. You came? You came by yourself. Yeah. What are you doing? Huh? I'm a student and I'm a, I work for myself. I work at home. I sometimes volunteer at the immigration office and I go mm. to fight the girls. I come here sometimes. Are you there, somebody? Yes. Are you there? 
Zetori Kamaya. Can I change your story? Can I change your life? You've come to the right place. On the right day. At the right moment. Who else says, me, I want my life to change. You are tired of going in circles. You want a new beginning today. Hold my hand. Zotaka parado fashat yamando. I set you free today. I release you. I break every circle. I break every circle in your life. And I set you free. Loose! Let her go now. I say let her go now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! Out! Come out. I said go. Out! I said go. Come out of her. Now. I said go. Now, leave. Go. Go. Someone touch her, her, touch her tummy. I said go. I said go. I said come out. you now. I squeeze you. I squeeze you. Now. I squeeze you. I squeeze you. I squeeze you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I squeeze you. Come out. You see them, they're going. They're now going. Out. Jesus, my name, I set you free. Pick up. I need to lay hands again. Save it. Take it. Jesus Christ. Put your hand on your chest. Set you free. Jesus name. Break every circle in your life. From today, I declare you beginning in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, be loosed. Be loosed from today. Never, ever, never, ever return in this body. In Jesus' name, it is done. You are free. Something new Something new Let me pray for you.
Don't begin to speak properly. I can talk you want your tongue to be loosed. They said you'd be okay. Yeah. Yes, they were right that you'd be okay. My sister, Ali, you be a great girl. You be pay. Wow. And Mama, like, oh my God, it happy me once or twice. Wow. And Let I me pray for you so that your tongue can be lost. Okay. Are you ready to receive? I command this tongue to be loosed. You dumb and deaf spirit. You spirit of infirmity. I command you loose. I command you loose her. Now. Now. Out! I release her. Jesus, my name. Jesus, my name. From today, I decree your tongue loosed. I declare your tongue, your tongue loosed from today. Every speech impediment, I release you from that now. In Jesus, my name. Be thou restored completely. In Jesus' name. Come here. Bring her here. Bring her here. Can I pray for you? pray for you. What's your name? Kelia. Eh? Kelia. Kelia. Yeah. So I'm seeing a demonic attack against your life. Hmm? That's true. What's happening in your life? Yeah, in your dreams. Mm. Because when I look in the realm of the spirit, you get a lot of demonic attacks. You get attacked at every opportunity. That's true. All my life. All your life. Yeah. All, my life. All your life. Yeah. Okay, that nonsense will come to an end today. I receive you demons today I command you loose I said loose <laughs> I break your bondage now. I break your bondage. I break your bondage. I break your bondage. <laughs> Out! I say, Lusa, 
Let her go now. Let her go now. I said now, let her go. Come out. I release her today. I set her free. I set her free. I set her free. Out! Go! Now! Let her go. Pick this one up. Pick up. Pick up. When I look at you in the realm of the spirit, what you go through is the same with what this one is going through. It's true. It's true. Because when I was looking in the realm of the spirit, I saw a connection between the two of you. Do you know each other? Do you know each other? Do you stay together? No. Did you tell me anything? No. Did you send me a message? No. Or when I was talking to her, you said, me too, Papa, I'm going through the same thing. Did you tell me anything? No, Professor. Can I prophesy? Professor. That's why the Holy Ghost located you. Huh? Things are so tough. Going in circles as well. Being attacked in your dreams. Being attacked in your dreams. Demons attacking you in your dreams. I'm seeing demons of monkeys. Demons which look like, look like monkeys. Huh? Is it true? Find the here. You'll be set free. You can have me, Baba. Touch my hand. Come out! Loose! Let her go now. 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 Pick this one up, pick up, pick up. Are you a student? Are you studying? You are studying? Yes. You are a student? Yes. What are you studying? Human resource management. Human resource management. Yes. I receive. How many subjects do you have? I'm doing two at the moment. You are doing two? Yes. Why? I don't know. I felt like quitting. But then I just changed the tool. Just to kind of... Yeah, because in the realm of the spirit... As a student, but your studies are so hard, they're so difficult, you're not making any progress at all. And you've come to a place where you're saying, Me, I'm not good enough for this thing. Huh? Is that correct? And then you are supposed to be doing four subjects. Is that correct? Is that correct? No. You are tired of prophecy. That's it. Professor, Papa. That's it. Prophesy.
prophesy. Did you tell me anything? Did you send me a message? No. Huh? No. Or what's up? No. Or what's down? No. So how do I know that we're supposed to do four subjects? And then have to drop, eh? How do I know that? You see, when God is speaking, you need to know that it's a God, not a man. Oh, yes. And you are standing right where God is speaking. That's correct. Huh? Oh, yes. You are standing right where God is what? Speaking. Say, I connect. I connect. Say, I connect. I connect. I'll deliver you today. You are going to complete your studies. Loose. Let her go now. Your spirit of stagnation. Out! I said go now. I said go now. I said go now. I said let her go. Now. Your time is over in this body. Enough is enough. I said enough is enough. No more. No more. No more. Touch my hand. No more. I speak success to you now. I speak success to you now. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. Out! Come again. Come again. Loose! Let her go. Now. 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 I said let her go. Nonsense. Enough is enough. No more in this body. Never return from today. I speak success into her from today. I change her walk. I change her thinking. I change her mindset. Holy Ghost. You are going to finish your studies. Alright? Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. So next semester, you take all the form. Thank you. Are you hearing me? In the realm of the speed, I'm seeing the lowest grade which you're going to get will be a credit. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? It is done. Who else? Ah, you, what do you need now? You are connecting. You are connecting. Take it. Receive it. Take it! It is done. Who else? Who else? Who says me, 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 me? Who is connecting? You. You are connecting. You are connecting. Yes. <laughs> okay, go there quickly. You go there. One, two, three. Go there. Ah, uh, you, I prayed for you. What do you need now? <laughs> Just connect. Who else? You, I prayed for you. What do you need now? You already pray for you. I already pray for you. What do you need? Because of time. What do you need? Huh? My leg. Your leg. What's happening with your leg? Don't tell me you injured yourself again. You injured yourself again? Same injury. Where? You still feel some pain? Okay, go there. Who else? Those two there. Come. Because of time, I'll just quickly lay my hands on you. Because of time. Who else? Quickly come. Quickly go. Quickly go. You too. Quickly go. Ah, the whole church now. One, two, three. Okay, go. You. 
come. Oh my God. Yo, come. Come. Let's the whole church now. Zetori Bali Desho. You too, come. Go. Prophetic deliverance. You too, come. So because of time, I will not have time to speak to each one of you. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. But I want you to be in the spirit and praying that God, whatever you need, tell him. When the man of God touches me, when the prophet touches me, let me receive what I'm looking for. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You need to be praying. So I want you, ushers, help me arrange these people nicely, however you, can, you are going to arrange them. Because of time. Jesus Christ. Zatoka rapati veshike yamando. The rest move backwards. Only the first line should stand here. Only the first line. The rest wait. Be in the spirit. Tell the Lord what you need. Now. You, you need deliverance. I set you free. I set you free now. Be set free. name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free. Now. Jesus, my name. Jesus, my name. Jesus, my name. Let the power of God rest on you now. Jesus, my name. It is done. This person feels very sick and the doctors can't even find what the issue is. Because when I'm doing my speech or scanning, it's a spiritual problem, not a physical problem. 
but today that nonsense is over. I receive. Come out! There's a spirit of a snake in this body. Loose! Go. I said, come out. You see what I'm talking about? Out! Go. You see what did I tell you? seven demons in this body. Hey. <laughs> Only one is remaining. You see? Only one is remaining. So, kakaka rapatu veti jehezu. I receive. You. I said now. I said now. I said now. I said now. Yeah? It's now. It's now. I said so it's now. I said now you go. No more in this body. I never come back. You hear me? Never come back. You hear me? Now you go. I never return. Out! Fire! Where goes fire? Where goes fire over you? Fire! 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 Get out! Get out! 
You go. You go. You go. Out. Out. Now, come out. I said, Out, let her go. Jesus Christ, listen. Come out of it. Out, out. I tell you, them now. I said go. I said go. You speed of stagnation. Go! Out! You speed of infinity. Loose him. Loose him now. I break your foundation in this body. Out! I approach you now. Jesus Christ. I approach you now. Come out! 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 Go! Now! Go! Come out! Out, out of him, out of him, out of him, out of him now, out of him, come out, send out, out of him now.
Lose him. Let him go now. Let him go now. Let him go now. Out. 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 Come out. Out of him. Out of him. Out. Out. Come out. Go. I break your foundation now. Out. Jesus Christ. I break your foundation. Jesus mighty name. I break your foundation now. I break your foundation now. Out! I break your foundation. Jesus mighty name. Go. Go now. Go. 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 Now. Go. Now. I said go. I said go now. I said go now. Out of this body. Out of this body. Go. 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 Set you free now. Set you free. Out. Set you free now. Out. I set you free. Set you free now. Jesus, mighty name. Just wait here. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Leave him there. Look at me, Sonny. Look at me.
this point. Go. Change that song today. Jesus. You're going. You're going. set you free today. I release you today. Go. Go now. Go now. I set you free today. <laughs> Loose. From today. You are free now. It is done. It is done. Out! I said go. Nonsense. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out! You're free. Look at me. Look at me. Go. Come back here. Lusa! Let her go now. Lusa! Now, now, <laughs> loose.
out. Let him go. Now. Out of this body. Go. Go. Come out. 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 Jesus Christ. The mad name of Jesus Christ. Let him go now. Loose him. Loose him. Never return in this body. Jesus. Okay. Out. Come out. Out. I said go. Loose him now. Loose him now. Put my hand. Fire! 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 Loose him! Go! Now! Loose him! Loose him! Loose him! Out! Jesus, mighty name! You're free. What do you do? I generally listen. What's your career? What are you doing? Uh, at the moment, I work at Stop Action. You work here? At Stop Action. At Stop Action. As? is open. You'll come back with a testimony. Said Lusa. Loose her now. Be loosed. Out! Out! Loose! Loose now. Out! Let her go. Let her go now. I break every bondage. Every bondage be broken now. Every bondage be broken. Out! Out! Jesus, my name. Wait, do you have your documents? 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 Lift up your documents. Do you have your documents. Lift up your documents. Any document you have. Any document you have, lift them up. Any document you have, lift them up. Any document you have, lift them up. Your phone, lift up your phone. Go. There's no hiding place. I said go. Shh. I decree favor on your documents in Jesus' name. I decree favor on your documents in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare. You are going to receive good news in Jesus' name. Where they rejected it, they are going to call you in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I decree and I declare favor upon your documents. Favor upon your documents. Favor upon your documents. Favor upon your documents. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Anyone who is sick on those documents, I decree healing now. Let them be healed in Jesus' name. Anyone not feeling well, I decree healing now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of deliverance touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be delivered in Jesus' mighty name. Get your offering, get your offering, get your offering, get your offering. 
your offering, your offering, your offering. I want to pray for it myself. Get your offering. Get your offering. Just lift it, lift it up. Lift up your offering. Lift up your offering. Yeah, you are going to get it, those who are still here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, let a blessing locate you based on your offering. Let a blessing locate you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let a blessing locate you. I speak multiplication in your life. Multiplication in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that offering trigger a blessing in your life. In the name of Jesus, I command every seed that you sowed in the past that never grew today to grow in Jesus' name. Anything that you gave in the house of God and you never received anything, I decree and I declare, receive a blessing in Jesus' name. I trigger a blessing in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I trigger a mighty blessing in your life in the name of Jesus. Okay, give quickly, give quickly, and then I'll be praying for these people. you free in Jesus name. I set you free today. Now be set free. Jesus name. You are free. You are free. Let her go now. Out! Lusa! Go! Now! Go! Jesus Christ. Jesus name. Oh, yes, Out! Lose him! Go! Now! Go! Time! Papa! Zeto parado shata. Zeto kaparado vahadez. Out! Let him go now. Out! Let him go now. Out! Loose! Jesus Christ. What's happening to your leg? How are you feeling now? Yeah? Your leg, what's happening to your leg? Yeah? Uh -huh. How is it feeling? Painful, numb, 
What's the problem? It's still very weak. Okay, put your hand where it is. No, just put your hand where. Jesus' name, it is done. This is another snake. It's a python. Blind spirit, your spirit of infinity. Out, out, come out of me. Out, out. I break your foundation now. I have put you. Thank 
Seigneur Saint. Seigneur Saint. Seigneur Saint. Out! said go out Come on. let him go now loose loose him now loose him no more no more in this body never return never return loose him now and never return never return it is done I've already prayed for her. I've already prayed for her. Don't pray again. I've already prayed for you. Pick this one up. Never return in this body. Today's the end. Never come back. I set you free. I set you free. watching us live thank you so much for joining in i pray no demon is going to touch you anymore i decree and declare your deliverance today in the name of jesus christ whatsoever is tormenting life i rebuke it in jesus name i, I command it you never return to your life again in the name of jesus christ i, I set you free today in jesus mighty name receive. receive your deliverance receive your freedom receive your healing now in jesus mighty name thank you so much for joining us live I love you so much. Join us again on Friday. I'll be live again on Friday. And on Sunday, I'll be live again in the morning at 9 o'clock. Join us. It will be so powerful. The Lord has taught me to teach you something so crucial for your spiritual walk. I love you so much. This is Prophet Gerard Nyasuru. I'm the son of Major Prophet, Major One, Shepherd Bushiri. I love you. Shalom. <laughs>